It is being described as a dark comedy. You can find it in a theater near you right now. What are we talking about? Echoes of that red guitar. And joining us this morning is Alvin Chan. He is the lead actor. You've seen him on our morning show a couple of times. Good morning to you. And Rebo Allen is the director of this play. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, this is your first time full-fledged director, but you are really involved in this because you've been an actor oh, yeah. for years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been an actor about 15 years. Um, I used to work for the same company that Alvin works for, HTY. So, uh, yeah, this is the next step. <laughs> yeah, what is the, describe this for those who don't know what this dark comedy is about. Um, well, to put it without giving any spoilers, uh, it's really about his character. He puts his character named Guy, and it's about his character trying to please everybody in life, never pleasing himself, and in the end, he decides to please himself. But it's, um, yeah, it's in a really dark way. How were you introduced to the script? Uh, Harry Wong, he's the artistic director of Kumukuhua. He handed me the script about a year ago. He handed me an early draft, and then we kind of go over revisions over the last year. And you kind of just knew it was a, a partner in the making? Of well, pairing? well, yeah, when I first read the early draft, I knew the story underneath it was just really strong. The lead, Tanauchi, the playwright, he had an amazing plot. So that was the first inclination that I wanted to direct it. Alvin, let's bring you uh, into this and talk about your lead character here. It's been going on for what, three weeks now? Uh, you guys two, have been in? Yeah, we just finished our, this second is our third week. week. We're starting yeah. our third week this okay, week. Okay, we still yeah. have a couple more weeks left. Yes. What, why do you love this role so much? Um, I love it because, I mean, it's a, it's a marathon of a part. I mean, I, I don't leave the stage for two hours constantly. But also just the, the themes on it. Uh, Kikaida is a big theme in this play. Kikaida was huge in Hawaii, I think, in the 70s as a TV show. And so that, I think that is a big draw for audiences. But this is a departure for you, because I've seen some of your work. You've been on our show before. This kind of, I mean, maybe I'm overstepping my boundaries here. It's kind of a departure? It's a big departure. Okay. Um, I mean, working for the Honolulu Theater for Youth, usually when I see you guys, I'm dressed, I don't know, in green pants and a pineapple. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> yes. uh, but it's, it's nice uh, to, to step out of that uh, and do something a little bit more adult and a li that, that, that ties into to older Hawaii a bit more. And, Rev, we talk about it being a dark mm -hmm. comedy, so maybe older teens, adults? Definitely, definitely. The, the ending is quite shocking, quite shocking, which is why this play has had so much buzz. Um, yeah, older, older uh, teens and older adults would be good. Okay, playing four <laughs> times a week, what are the days? Uh, Thursday through Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 o'clock, and Sunday mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock at Kumukuhua Theater. And tickets still available. Where can we get them? Uh, you can get them from the Kumukuhua box office. Okay. We'll have all that information on your screen right now, and we'll also have all that information on our website, which is KITV.com. All you have to do is click on the As Seen On section. Reb, thank you for coming in so much. Alvin, good to see you again. Likewise. <laughs> We're back in just a couple of minutes, and we'll have a recap of your top morning headlines.